So many college students are searching for their passion during their time on campus, but not many are able to turn those passions into a mega business. But Anna Maria Morales did just that. Welcome. Thank Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. What Anna a delight. Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Yeah. <laughs> We're a perfect trio. <laughs> oh, and you have such a great story. So tell everybody a little bit about your backstory yeah. and college confectionista. Yeah. So I came from two teenage parents who definitely didn't have any kind of trust fund set up for me. And I knew I wanted to be the first in my family to go to college, but I had no idea how I was going to fund mm. my dream. Yeah. So I just start, I started college confectionista and I started slinging cheesecakes and I baked my way through Berkeley one cheesecake wow. at a time. Wow. Yeah. So was <laughs> cooking, baking something that you did growing up or is it something you kind of fell into once you were yeah, college age? Absolutely. I mean, our family loves to stuff each other with food okay. and we show yep. our love to each other through cooking and baking. So with my grandma and my mom, we would just bake in the kitchen, listen to Sam cook. And oh God, those are the that. memories yeah. that I hold dear. And so it's a way for me to just reset, yes. re unwind. And mm. also connect to Absolutely. Those people, right? Absolutely. That's yes. what I love so much about the cooking and yeah. the smells Family. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you are a graduate. You are yes. debt-free. Yes. Next? Oh, I know. So what I'm working on right now is uh, I'm refurbishing this old postal truck and I'm turning it into a cheesecake truck. Oh, cool. For farmers markets, events. I'm still singing cheesecakes and yeah. running my business as a one-woman show. And I'm also... Look at these things, guys, by the way. Um, yeah, these... Yeah. Yes, this is my Bonafi cheesecake. It's a banana caramel Beautiful. toffee cheesecake. I do cheesecakes based on what's in season. So if you want a blackberry cheesecake, you're going to have to get that in August. Mm. Meyer lemon, January and February. This is my zesty, zingy lemon yeah. curd. And that is my dulce de leche wow. Mexican hot chocolate oh, cheesecake. Looks, do they all have like a similar base or are they all different? Yeah, it, I think it just kind of depends on what cheesecake we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But... My main cheesecake, the most popular one, I used to call New York style. Yep. Went to New York, tried New York yes. cheesecake. It's completely different. So I renamed it after where I'm from, Sonoma County. So I call it SoCo style. Oh, so cute. Sonoma County style cheesecake. It's airy. It's light. It's fluffy. Mm. It's got a buttery graham cracker crust. It's mm. to die for. So oh. you're out in Sonoma County, but you are in Boston. I am. A legacy award. Yes. And I think the message of your work is so relevant. So tell us a little bit sure. about why you're here. Yes. So I am here for the legacy award, which is given by the New England chapter of Le Dame de Escoffier. And this is a chapter that was is supported by the Julia Child Foundation. So wow. they find up and coming women in the culinary arts from all around the world. We're talking France, United States, Mexico. Um, and they pick just five women to come and have these experiences and be mentored and supported for five days. And so I was the lucky recipient wow. to the New England chapter. And I'm here being thrown in a whirlwind, just watching and learning from all of these really inspirational, powerful women here mm. in New England. Yeah. And so here I am today with That's you. Amazing. And what a great reminder for the spirit of mentorship in whatever field we're in. Thank you so much, yes. Anna Maria, for sharing a little bit of your Thank story. You. And great style. Thank I you. know. <laughs> so summary. And congratulations. Yeah. And Thank have fun you. in that program. Thank you yeah. so much.